Hello and welcome back to another Python video. In this video we're going to be talking about or we're going to be making a Python quiz game. So to get started we need a couple things to set the skeleton of the program. First we're going to have a tuple of questions and right now it's empty of course and we're going to have a tuple of options we're going to have a tuple of answers and then we're going to have a list of our guesses that we make and we're going to have a score and it's initialized to zero and also question numbers which is also initialized to zero so to get started I'm gonna fill in the questions and the options and the answers and I'll get back to you okay so I filled in the questions the first one is what is the capital of France and then the second one is who wrote the novel 1984 and then what is the largest ocean on earth how many continents are there and what is the square root of 64 and we have options. The options are A, B, C, or D. And this is a list or a tuple in a tuple. So this is a tuple itself and it's inside the big tuple right here. And we have A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D for all the questions with its corresponding answer. So, and then we have a tuple of our correct answers. Correct answers. So. For example, what is the capital of France? The first question is going to be C, which is Paris. And then second answer is A, so George Orwell wrote the novel 1984, and so on. So these are all tuples. Why did I choose tuples? Because in Python, tuples cannot be changed. But guesses is a list, and a list can be changed. It's mutable, which means because right now it's empty, and with each guess that we make within the program we're going to be appending to this list so if I make a guess later and it says A it's going to be added into here and then if I say B it's going to be added here and then so on and so forth so let's get started with the rest of the program so first we want to make a for loop and that's going to contain our most of our program so we're going to say for question in questions so for each question in questions what do we want to do we want to print a dashed line just so that it's clean and we can sit, you know differentiate between each each question i should say and then we want to print the question moving on within this for loop we're going to make another for loop and it's going to say for option in options we want to print what do we want to print? We want to print the option itself. And of course, we need to add in the list of question num because we want to add the question number or add the option for each question number. So for question number one, we want to add the options for question number one. For question number two, we want to add in the options for question number two and so on and so forth. So pay attention to the indentation, it's going to be within the outer for loop, we're going to continue and what we're going to do now is we're going to set up our guesses. So guess is going to be equal to input and it's going to say enter a guess and or I, sh I should just say enter A, B, C or D, A, B, C or D. And that's going to be our guess and we're going to set it to dot upper because this function right here will make any of our any of what we input uppercase so if we input lowercase a it's going to make it uppercase a and we do that just because these are all uppercase and we need it to be the correct answer because if it's lowercase and these are uppercase it's going to be incorrect even though the answer is correct and then we're going to say guesses dot append guess so we have our list of guesses and like i said we're going to append which append basically means to add at the end of the list we're going to add the guess so if i input a it's going to add a to the end of the list here and now we want to check if it's correct or not so if guess equal equal answers 
and then we want to pass in the question num list because we want to check if the answer for the corresponding question number is correct or not if it is we want to say score if it's equal to it we want to say score plus equals to one and we also want to print out correct so what this is going to do as you can see here score is initialized to one so this is going to increase the score to one from zero to one and if it's two it's going to increase it to three and so on it's just basically going to add one else because this could be incorrect so if it is incorrect and it's not equal to the answer then we want to print incorrect and then we want to print the actual correct answer with a printf statement that says printf and then answer answers and then we want to get the answer for the corresponding question number so question num and then is the correct answer and then outside the else statement we want to increment the question number just so that we can move on to the next question so question num plus equals one and moving on this is how we display all the answers and make a guess and you know find out if it's correct or not correct so let's check what we have so far what is the capital of france we want to say c paris so as you can see it says correct and then it moves on to the next one so a and then again correct the answer here is c but i'm going to put a just to check it's going to say incorrect c is the correct answer and like i said c is the correct answer and so on so let's move on and try to display the results because as of right now we don't know how many we got right and how many we got wrong we can figure it out since it's a small quiz but we don't want to do that right now so and you know you can always have a bigger quiz and it's going to be a hassle to figure it out so we should print and let's print a dashed line just to separate the two things first and then let me just remake it here and here and here we're going to say results uh, that's not really centered but I guess it's kind of centered now and we want to print what do we want to print we want to print the answers and then we want to print the guesses and then we want to take the score so answers and then we want to end the statement with an empty string so what this is going to do is it's going to keep whatever comes next on the same line and then we want to say for answer in answers so for each answer in answers this is known as a for each loop if you've studied java before print answer and then we want to end it with a space so not an empty string but a space because now that what this will do is just keep what comes next on the same line which is this this is what comes next and what this is going to do is it's going to end each answer with a space so it's going to be a space a space and so on and then we're basically done here so let's just print an empty line and then we want to do the same thing for guesses so we're going to change this to guesses and then for guess in guesses and we want to print the guess that's basically it it's the same thing but with guesses instead of answers and last but not least we want to print the percentage so or i should say a score equals int score divided by the length of questions 
So if we have five questions, it's going to be divided by five. We can replace this with just the number five. This right here, we can just replace it with the number five. But like I said, if you have more than five questions or a lot of questions, it's going to be hassle. And if you add questions, then you're going to have to keep changing this number to however many questions the new amount is. And then we want to multiply it by 100 just to get an accurate percentage. And then print F statement that says how much your score is. So print F your score is and then score percent. That's basically it. Let's check what we have so far. And if it works, then we're done. What is the capital of France? Let me just make this bigger. What is the capital of France? Let's say C, Paris. Who wrote the novel? I don't know, so I'm just going to guess C. And it's incorrect. A is the correct answer. What is the largest ocean on Earth? C. Correct. How many continents are there? Let's say A. Let's say 5. Incorrect. C is the correct answer. And what is the square root of 64? Let's say... I'll get this one right. C. And as you can see right here, the answers are C, A, C, C, C. And I guessed C, 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 A, C. So that's why I got two wrong, which means it's 60%. So that's basically it for this Python video. If you enjoyed or learned something new, please like and subscribe. And as always, the full code will be posted in the comments down below.